So, welcome back to another episode of Nanare Hananare. Now, in the previous episode, we started the drama arc, which I'm really excited for because it was a lot of fun. I feel like the first episode or the previous episode of the drama arc was actually so much fun. I feel like, um, obviously, there were a lot of characters or like a lot of the things the characters did that I didn't agree with, but it doesn't take away from the fact that it was just a lot of fun to see uh, how this drama is going to go down. I feel like I needed some of the drama in it. I feel like it's a lot more fun. So I'm excited to find out how they end up, you know, resolving this. Uh, I wonder who, I wonder if someone's going to be getting hurt a bit from this, because it feels like I can see a lot of the standpoints where they're coming from. I can see, like, I can obviously, from a third person point of view, I can see, like, I can be like, oh, they should have talked it out here. They should have talked it out here. They shouldn't have done that. She shouldn't have done that. But at the end of the day, I can see where every one of them is coming from. And I feel like that's why i don't think this drama is actually that infuriating i feel like it's just really entertaining so i'm really excited to see how it ends up playing out because ah, it's so good it's so good so anyways uh i don't want to talk about it too much because i just want to go into it so if you don't watch this uncut and unblurred it's gonna be on my page which is down in the description and without further ado let's go into nanare hananare episode nine I mean, obviously, I feel like the best the best solution would be for them to talk it out, right? If they weren't all emotional, but I can see that they're, like, extremely emotional here. Kanata's gonna feel really hurt. She worked so hard on this. I'm not saying that she's right, but she did work really hard on this, so obviously for people to for people to try like and argue with you because and try to say, oh, you're in the wrong, but even though you work so hard on this, obviously they're gonna feel hurt for it. Um I do think she is partially to blame for everything to, uh, that's going on. For not talking to everyone about it. Uh, she definitely should be telling everyone um, about like her doing this. Because at the end of the day, it could end up hurting the entire group. Um, because of her low energy and stuff like that. So that's why it's not only her problem that she's doing it, right? It's it starts becoming everyone's problem. And that's why she should be telling them. But it does hurt where every, like for everyone to be like dunking on you, even though you've tried so hard. Or not everyone to be, but Anna especially, right? Um, that's why it's interesting, man. Damn! Rain and cheer. What's up, Nodoka? Are you stuck? 
Ah, do not sleep. Oh, that, that looks good. Uh, yeah, it's a long story. Don't cut her off like that. She's trying her best. Let her finish the line. <laughs> Angie. She's Angie. Money. Uh, yeah, you can hear it. I agree with that. <laughs> Damn. I feel like in those moments, it is, it is the best to just leave someone alone with that like that. At least for me it is. Is Nodoka going to be the key to solving this entire situation? I guess it is. It feels like they're really focusing on her. She's so extra. So extra. Look at her. Don't do it here. Don't do it here, please. <laughs> Look at the cop. Crazy man, crazy. You did? <laughs> it's cute that she mistook a cat. First, yeah. Looks good. Nah, she just bumped into her. She's just everywhere. Oh, 
I don't think it's that deep. You can work it out, you can work it out. She's home. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Who caves in first and decides to apologize? Who's the bigger person? Who is not? Yeah, that's the vibe I got as well. Some deep rooted. I don't know, even know what to call it. Jealousy, envy, envy. I feel like that's fair. I feel like. I mean, I don't know if it's fair, but I feel like that's a. Normal concern or thought. Yeah, like I don't think it's a very fair thought necessarily um, to think like, oh, why am I the only one who has to go through this? But I do think it's a very like normal and human thought to have, especially at that age. Um, yeah, I can see why she would think that way. As I said, it's a bit of a, um, I don't know, it's a weird thought to have, but it is a very human one, I guess. So now what? Watch your step. Watch your step. When you're lost in your own head walking down the stairs, that's the most dangerous one. Watch your step.
What's up, Susie? Oh, speaking of... Speaking of which... Damn, that's a long name. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, that, that's actually really nice from Suzuha. I was not expecting that from her. Wow. Also, I feel like that shines a light a bit on uh, Megumi's situation. You won't be able to fly if you hurt yourself. Because that's what that's how Megumi is right now, right? She hurts herself. Don't do it. Don't do it. I mean, do it at your own risk. Oh. On. What's up? Okay, wait, 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 Okay, I was I was I was lost in my own mind when this happened and I was thinking I was making theories. I was like, and it was completely joke theories. I was not serious about it at all. But one of the theories that I just made up on the spot when I was thinking about what is gonna happen next is I legit because she's uh she on not she on um Suzu has said that if you hurt yourself you're not gonna be able to fly just like you know um kinda talking about how Megumi feels. And I thought, oh, what if and then we saw then we saw Kanata being like preparing herself to go and try and jump again. And then we saw the rain starting to fall. And I was like, what if? <laughs> and this was a stupid theory in my mind. But I was like, what if Kanata tries to jump, fails? This is horrible, by the way. This is a horrible situation. Horrible thought. But and she becomes like Megumi. And then that's where it actually dawns on her and Megumi feels horrible about it because she just legit said why am I the only one who has to go through this and then this happens and then she'll feel horrible wait there's no way that's horrible no no, no she, it's not gonna be that serious there's it's surely not gonna be that serious but still that's insane I I just got a jump scare from that because of how wow I was never expecting in a million years for this to actually come like come to fruition That's insane! I feel like the, the thing that Suzuka said egged her on even more. She was like... <laughs> Bet. Watch me. Oh, she's fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I knew I knew they were not gonna go that far, but still, it had me worried for a second because my theory was way too close to coming close uh, to coming true. Jesus. Help her out. Someone push her! Someone push her! Poor thing! Poor thing! Ha <laughs> ha! 
It's making me anxious that they're in the rain, man. No, don't, 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 don't. You have nothing to hold. You have nothing to hold. No, 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 no. You don't have any rail. Uh. Ah, and it's slippery. Ah. Oh, fuck me, man. Please, don't do this here. Please. You're making me anxious. That made me so anxious, man. That was so scary. Look at Anna still angry. That's all it takes. The drama is over! And that is there's an aftercard scene! What's up? Who? Oh? Huh? Who? Okay. Interesting. I guess. Um I guess. Okay, anyways. Uh so this is the end of the drama arc. This arc was great. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I was so anxious at the end of that, man. But Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I know why they didn't like... Um, I know that... Uh, what's what what's the name? Uh, Shion and Suzuha didn't push Megumi because they were like, let's let her talk to Kanata on her own and stuff like that. 
But still, please, can you like, can you at least push her into the into the ward where Kanata was? That made me so uncomfortable. And then her standing up without any support anywhere, you know, she falls. How much she can hurt herself because of her lack of muscle and stuff like that? That's danger. That's really dangerous. Oh my god, I was so anxious when she was dancing. Oh my god, <sighs> my heart was beating like 200 miles an hour, man. Crazy, but. Apart from that, the drama got resolved. All we needed was one apology, and it, everything got resolved from Kanata's side, right? Uh, obviously, because she was the one who basically started the entire thing, so it makes sense. One apology from her is gonna resolve um, basically everything because it did kind of. Even if everyone, especially Anna, was um, very mad at her and did say some mean stuff, at the end of the day, it was because of Kanata's reckless behavior and stuff like that, right? So. It ended up all working out, and now I don't know what's gonna be next. Um, no idea. Did we go through all of the character arcs? Kinda, sorta, not really. I feel like we can still go through many Shion and Suzuha uh, arcs, but I guess we'll find out how they end up um, concluding the show. I think it's, is it 12 episodes or is it 13 episodes? Um, let me check. It's 12 episodes, so three more episodes. Four more episodes. Wait, 10, 11, 12. Three more episodes to go. So... We are in the final stretch. I wonder how they're going to end up concluding it. But I'm going to end this one here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.